Hey guys, so I want to talk to you about your push-ups. A lot of you guys have told me that this is something that you struggle with. Uh, some of you have said it's actually one of your least favorite exercises because you don't really feel too strong in it. Uh, you don't see a lot of improvements. And so it's something that you kind of want to put off to the side and maybe you'd rather do bench pressing with dumbbells or something like that. So we're going to talk about push-ups and actually how to kind of get stronger in them, how to add on more reps, and most importantly, how to make sure you're doing them with good form. So number one thing that I want you guys to think about is that the top of a push-up, this is your starting point and this is where you return to at the end of every rep, is actually a plank. So if you don't have a good, strong, solid plank, that portion of the push-up is actually going to be a struggle for you, right? So making sure that you've got, you know, wrists under shoulders when you set up your plank here, nice long, strong legs, slight drawing in of the belly button. You wanna make sure you're not hunching here. Uh, and you also want to make sure that you're not dropping your belly like this, right? So finding your nice, long, strong plank is number one. And so if that's something that you struggle with, that might be actually one of the first things that you practice while you're working on your push-ups. Okay, number two, let's talk about push-up modifications. So I am not a big fan of the traditional kind of knees on the ground push-up situation where we just work from here. Um, you know, maybe that's a product of in grammar school being told those were like girl push-ups. Um, I love that, right? Because I always thought, you know, I was tough and I was as good as the boys and I could do anything they could do. But um, the other thing about it, and this is from, you know, a physiological standpoint, is that that takes away the part of the push-up that makes it a full body exercise, right? So as good as push-ups are for your chest and your shoulders, they are actually a full body exercise. Your core is working and your legs are working. So rather than go onto my knees and dismiss the part of the push-up that makes my core and my legs work, what I would rather see you guys do is take the push-up up off the floor. Okay, so for example, um, here I've got my little coffee table. And so if I'm struggling to do a full push-up on the ground, I'm just gonna take myself up a little bit and work my push-up from up here. So I'm gonna go into that same full body plank position elbows go out to 45 degrees as they come down, and then I'm gonna to work to get my chest all the way down to the coffee table and back up all in one piece. Now, if this still feels too challenging, you can move up, right? Maybe you move it up to a countertop, maybe you even move it up to the wall. But what you'll see is that you continue to have that full body plank position, legs are working, core is working, and obviously upper body is working. Now, once you've got that, and you're ready to transition back down to the floor. What I see a lot of people do is that, you know, they're doing their 10 reps or however many reps they're supposed to be getting in their set, but what they're doing, they're starting from their good plank and then they're only getting this far and pushing right back up and this far and pushing right back up. And so now we're working full body, but we're not getting full range. So what you really want for your push-ups is to get full range of motion and that's how you're going to build the most strength, right? However low you go, you have to be able to get back up from that point. So a really great drill, which is something that some of my coaches taught me last year when I was working on my push-ups, is to actually lower yourself all the way down to your mat and then push yourself back up. Now, if you're struggling with that and you don't have the strength to push yourself up from your mat, that's where your knees can come back into play as long as you come back up into your full body plank at the top of every rep. So what that's gonna look like is you're gonna start from your plank. Oh, let's go out to 45 degrees, just like they did on my coffee table. I'm gonna lower myself slowly, 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 all the way down to the mat, right? My whole body goes. I'm gonna lift my hands up off the floor, put my hands back down, tuck my toes under, squeeze my belly button in, and push myself back up, right? If that was too hard, you can lower, 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 lower. And then as you're ready to come back up, tuck the toes, leave the knees on the ground, push yourself up and away. Knees are still on the ground here. And then I'm going to lift my knees up to get that lower body and core work before I do my second set. All right, so I hope that this helped you guys. I hope that you can find one of these modifications to try and work on. And I would love to hear from you guys if you've been able to incorporate it into this workout 
or you know, after you do it for a few weeks, tell me, you know, do your push-ups feel stronger? Do they feel better? Do you have more range of motion? Can you get your chest all the way to the ground? You know, can you do more reps without taking a break? Are you getting better at your burpees? Um, and whatever else. 